What's going on guys, DJ Spinner here bringing you the next episode of the BDSP Rival Log with the Phantom Michael. What's going on everybody, the Phantom Michael is here. Alrighty. I ain't ready you for ready this. You ready to do, do this badness, goodness, yep. graciousness? Three, two, one, timer is started. Go. Timer has started. Yes sir. Um, yeah, we're going to talk to this guy, head back. Uh... Anchors away. Hello, giant Pokemon. I'm going to capture you. You don't even want that on your I team. Because I am a child. You don't want that on your team. Not at all. It's terrible. You don't it's need booty it. cheeks. <laughs> Dude, I need to hurry up with this. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. I have one. I have one hope at this. Please, you're my only hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. You are my only hope. You are my favorite deputy. <laughs> you're my favorite <laughs> deputy. That was the easiest capture I've had in my entire series. <laughs> I wonder what you just caught, huh? I wonder. Was it a Pikachu? A Pikachu? I hope it was. A Pikachu in the shower? <laughs> Jeez. That was wrong on so many levels. <laughs> what do you sound like? What uh, am I gonna... You sound like the what damn... What am I gonna... Hmm? I, got the, I got the most powerful nickname for this Dialga. Yeah? Yep. Waste of space. Cause, Cause you remember our um Oh you know what? I fumbled it. it should have I, I have a different name I should have chosen. Oh well. I literally just thought of it as I was about to hit enter. I was like, Ah my <laughs> fingers were typing too quickly. You had a better name. What were you gonna call it? Okay, so because you know what Pokemon it is and there's no surprise there, mm -hmm. um I caught the Dialga. And when at first, my first thought was like, super powerful, most powerful thing in the game. My immediate thought, I'm like, with my naming scheme that I'm doing, I'm like, Thanos. I'm naming him Thanos. Yeah. Which is a super powerful name, okay? But, right. as I was hitting enter, I was like, bro, he's the time legendary. His name is Kang. The Conqueror. Yeah. I could have named him Kang, and it would have been perfect. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Instead, I chose to be a bum. And not do it. Whoa. Dude. Mm -hmm. Don and the professor were standing in this area. I went into Mount Coronet, turned around, walked back, and they were already gone. <gasps> they have superpowers. They were teleporting. Thanos. Dun, 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 is a legend. So, Did yeah, I, really I named my Dialga... Thanos, and as cool as the name is, it is just a cool name. It sounds great, and it fits, but it doesn't fit as good as Kang would have. True. <sighs> Sadness. Can I fly from here? I think the only way I'm going to be able to beat you down, Dylan, is I have to hope that I win this rival lock, because I think if I lose this rival lock, it's over. I can't fly from here. I cannot... Fly from dude, you don't know who I lost, bro. In the last episode. Yeah. Yep. That's true. Big I guess. Plays. There's a whole bunch of spots, dude, that I've just been like not catching Pokemon in. Yeah, I'm kind of. I I feel like I've skipped a whole bunch too. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like the item bag in this game. I really don't. No. No, it doesn't. I can never find what I'm looking for. Isn't that the whole point of the item bag and the labeling is that you can find everything easily? I can never find anything I want. Not mm -hmm. quickly. I miss the old days where everything was just in the bag together and you could just hit organize and it would put it by alphabetical. You know. Yeah. Like, that did help. there's nothing wrong with that. That did help. I tell you this. If it were actually me, 
Uh, that's the way I'd organize things. I'd throw everything into one pocket and... <laughs> you just feel <laughs> that, for that'd it? That'd be the end of it. Yeah. Yeah, but how just are you going to be organized it. during a fight note another Pokemon? You know what I mean? You'd be like, ah, gosh, i got to get this Pokeball out of this bag before I... Oh, gosh. No, no, it'd be easy. You just reach your hand in there, you feel for a Pokeball. Ah, there it is. Pokeball's easy to feel. It's just a little round ball. Okay, what, what else are you going to have in your bag that feels like a Pokeball? Exactly. What if you could only hold 10 items in your bag at once? That would be something they should do in Legend Arceus. You can only carry so much. Yeah, like have a... You gotta, like, get stronger to be able to carry more. Oh, I'm an idiot because that Pokemon is not that thing. Okay. I have one flaw. I just noticed. The son of a shepherd. Just so stupid. <laughs> Dialga is like the tiniest little thing ever. Yeah. I literally just caught him and I wasn't even up to his knees, you know, when when I walked up to him. But now he's following behind me and he's no bigger than a... See, and that's <laughs> what Gen 4, the, um, whatchamacallit, you know what you, you know what I'm trying to say. Gen 4, uh, the remakes for Heart Gold, Soul Silver, those sprites of the legendaries were massive. They was nice. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, I think we were talking about how, uh, in the last episode, we've been talking about, talking about Spider-Man No Way Home. What yeah. are your thoughts, my mans, on the fact that, uh, what do you think happened in their world now after they returned with all the cured villains. Oh, you're asking what I think happened in the other universes when they return back? Mm hmm I feel like a lot of them are still probably dead or going to die in their universe. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it, like, puts, like, does it drop them, like, right as, you know, because what, James Franco, the new goblin, dies. Well, actually, mm -hmm. I bet you... Because of the way that we know the multiverse has, I bet you it drops them into a totally different branch of their universe. Mm. And they're still not going to be home like they were when they left. They're not getting dropped back into their universe as they were. That still happens. That timeline still flows the way it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. Them getting pulled out of that timeline created a new branch where they disappear for a little bit. And then they return to that new branch where their lives are different. Gotcha where there is yet another new Spider-Man in that branch reality. Damn. I think, do you think Miles Morales is going to make an MCU debut? Because Miles Morales' uncle is in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's definitely, he's definitely coming. That's, that's almost no question. No question there. I think that's for sure. Yep. Uh, Jamie Foxx alluded to it with... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, you know. dude. You guys are missing this. My... my uh, Either this is the way Dialga follows me, or it's bugged. Something's weird. Yeah. He's not even, like, walking. He literally is floating, and his legs aren't moving. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, he is time. He is time the creature is of fleet. time. Time is fleeting. <laughs> time is fleeting. Madness <laughs> takes its toll. Oh, man. Doing the time warp. So 222, is that a new encounter? Uh, probably. I think it is. Let's do the time warp again. Let's, Let's just try it. To the left. See if we can get one of a Pokemon that isn't one of the ten. Oh, no, never mind. That's dupes. Cool. It's one of the 12 Pokemon in this entire game. Yeah. Dude, I just noticed that the volleyball guy, or the swimmer guy, he hits the Pokeball like a volleyball. It's actually crazy. That's pretty cool. I do the pelvic thrust. Got me insane. Oh, that's a new Pokemon, and I will never ever horror? use it. I oh, will they did do never ever use it. What? What now, Mike? I was like, would you watch another Rocky Horror? But I forgot they did do a remake of it. That kind of bombed. Mm -hmm. It was dumb. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it, so. Yeah. I'll probably watch it if it was on. 
I mean, to be fair, the the original one is dumb as well, but very dumb. It's a classic dumb. Yeah, it's like Donnie Darko. Exactly. Let's try a quick fall on you, since you're a worthless pile and I don't need you. Oh my god, dude! I don't know. Something about Gold Duck is just so fascinating to me. He broke free. Let's do. Mm. Let's do the time warp again. It's just a jump to the left. Oh, that didn't work. Gold I don't want to have to try to injure it. See, I wouldn't mind doing a playthrough with a gold duck one time. I mean, I don't think I've ever used a gold duck in a, in a Nuzlocke. Uh, I think I have. Maybe in one of our soul links, even. I'd be shocked. Oh, I caught this Pokemon in a great ball at full health. That tells you what I just got. It's a Pikachu! It's a bad Pokemon! <laughs> it's hot trash. It's hot trash. What am I going to name this one? Let's talk about future Resident Evil, man. I heard you watched the Resident Evil live action, and it was the worst thing you've ever seen. Did you watch it? No, I did not. Why not? They didn't had advert. They didn't even have it advertised in my town. Oh yeah. Yeah. They knew it was gonna suck. I didn't think there was any advertisements where I where I was at either. Honestly. Hmm. Was there like a lot of people in there? Eh, not really. No. But to be fair, theaters haven't been that full in a while either because you're right you know the state of the world you're right dog and you're all right. mm -hmm. oh no i ran into a pokemon trainer who'd you run into uh a pokemon trainer a pokemon by the name trainer. of beauty nicola nicola she Carbon. sent out a lapani that many freaking pokemon bro i'm over here wasting my time fighting you Got like 900 Pokemon. U-turn! Bop! Ooh, who got U-turn on? Pelipper? Oh, don't you, don't you worry about it. Don't Pelipper. you even worry about it. Well, I'm going to knock out whatever Pokemon you got U-turn on, just so you know. <laughs> That's another thing, too. If you defeat the uh, the darn swimmer, I like he pulls his goggles and he lets him go, like, smacks him in the face. Yeah, good stuff. That was pretty funny. Let's do the time warp again. Mother of Pearl, fire on the poop deck. Mother of Pearl, fire on the poop deck. See, that was another funny one. Mary had a little... I forgot what he says. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as hairy fish lips. <laughs> what is hairy fish lips? I don't know. I think that's what he said. Uh, hey, uh, Delga, you're kind of in my way, dog. Now, I wonder what the shiny gold up. Damn it, I need to get that item. My craziness. It's probably not even an item I need, but I'm going to get it anyway. It's not. I know the item that you need, fam, and that's not it. I wish they had, um, I wish, like, TM items still showed up differently like they did in the other games where it's, like, a yellow Pokeball. Yeah. Is a TM, because I would definitely make this journey, f oh, yeah. I would have 100% made this journey for a, for a TM, but for an item I can't really use, it's like, well. What's the point? What's the deal with airline food? Hmm. I've never actually heard that joke. Be funny. Jeez, there are trainers all over the place down here. Trainers are Good everywhere. Gravy. Oh, I made it. Sailor Mark. Sailor Moon. Has a man tyke. A man tyke. Cool. I gotta see how much further than you I can make. Oh, dude, you know what I just thought of? What did you just thought of? Never mind, never mind. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. I don't, don't want to say. I'm scared. 
I don't want to tell you. <sighs> so I recently got a um Switch. I recently got an Oculus Quest 2. Yeah. And I gotta say, Fancy. it's pretty sweet. Level of uh, one to ten, how sweet? It's actually um, a really good price for like, I I would have never thought that I would be able to enjoy such uh, a thing. I, I never thought that I'd be able to be the owner of a VR like a high end VR headset, um, for a price point under of like three hundred dollars. Like that Ooh. just seems kind of kind of crazy to me. And was it worth it? Yeah, it's freaking cool. I love every second of it. Or do you get motion sickness? Not really, no. Okay. I every now and then when I put one on, I kind of do. Yeah, you gotta get used to it, but it also depends on what you're playing too. Mm. Like my first experience with Phasmo in VR was a little, little up there. Oh, there's mm. a house here that says "Big Pokemon Wanted." Well, I Whoa. bet my Dialga is a big enough Pokemon for you. Oh, I just misclicked like an idiot. I had a dream. It was a wonderful dream. I dreamed that a trainer would bring me a giant Remoraid. Oh. <laughs> well, that was, that was well, a weak dream. Well, that's the wrong kind of Pokemon. Let's see. What do I... Wiggle, wiggle. You want a Krikotot. front. Krikotati. Taikawatati. Ooh, that's a good Pokemon. Glad I knocked yours out. A Phoebus? That thing's gonna destroy my whole team. Yeah. Mm. Splash. <laughs> Gengar. See, I really wish Levitate was... Dude, I wonder if ghost. I haven't seen a single ghost type. Have you? Except for uh, what? What do they call? What's the um, basculin of all form? In uh, Legends Arceus. Bas Basculegion. Bas yeah, that's pretty. Actually, that name is actually kind of awesome. That's yeah, a water saw, ghost type. Um, huh? You saw Cleavor, right? Yeah, dude. Oh man, I forgot how cool that Pokemon looked. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool Pokemon. I just wish it wasn't rock type, bro. But rock and bug types like the worst. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, I feel like it's gonna be good. Like it's gonna have some pretty good stats, you know. Yeah, I hope so. Hmm. Found a hidden item in here. All right, let's find our share of Pokemon to join the team. Cause we need one, please. You know, I'm also a movie that keep, keeps kind of getting forgot about. I think that mm -hmm. I'm excited to see is mm -hmm. Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. I don't know if that. I, I feel like that's coming out at, like late this year, like like November 22 sort of area. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. Dude, I do forget that, that movie's coming out. Yeah. Bl what what's the slate for this year? And they're still working on Guardians Volume Three. Like that's actually a thing, you know. Yeah. Um, on deck this year, well, obviously, you know, um, I think we talked about this, Morbius got pushed back. Yep. Oh. I forgot it. Yeah, Morbius was, Morbius was supposed to come out late January, and now it got pushed back to April, like April 1st or 2nd. Holy shnikes. Yeah. And we were talking about that the other day, me and Dusty and some other people, we were talking about, um, one particular reason, because we're like, it can't be... It can't be the COVID thing that they pushed it back for. No. You know? Um, I, I just, I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like that's what it is. We were wondering if maybe, like, since the success and the chitter-chatter of, you know, uh, since the success of No Way Home and the chitter-chatter of what's going on, like, people talking about Andrew Garfield again, what if they are they decide to push it back to work, to work on a on a stinger stinger post credit scene that involves him in some way. It could Tied be that. In. That could be something. How crazy would that be? That'd be nuts. I'd be I mean I'd be I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about it. Like I'd be excited but nervous, very nervous because Sony when they like just take the reins themselves kind of makes me nervous in general. Mhm. Mm but uh 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it would be a welcomed thing. They should just do. Sony should just take a step back and let because how much money did Sony make off of Spider-Man No Way Home? Dude, off of off of the Tom Holland Spider-Man in general is the question, you know, mm -hmm. because I mean, they've made they made more money with that partnership with Marvel and the MCU and all that than they have with like any other, oh no please okay this isn't a battle okay woo I thought we were running into a battle I was about to get scared if they just let MCU do their thing with those characters and not just take a step back we yeah they can fun. co they can help co-produce it like you know they can put money into it and help produce it but like as far as the setting up of the you know doing the writing and the the like casting and directing and stuff. I feel like that just needs to be Marvel. Yeah. Now the question is, where the heck is the Pokemon Center in this damn town? Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Come on, Quick Ball. Come on. You suck. Let's do. We do an aqua ring. Purple rain. Boo! Squeeps. So, three my, minutes, my man. My my uh my Minnesota Vikings are out of the playoff race. Oh no! Cause uh. Cousins was out on a COVID protocol list right before the big game against Green Bay in in Green Bay, and without him, the Vikings got smacked 37-10. Mm. Thus ending their season. We have one game left that's this Sunday, but it's against the Bears, and it doesn't matter in the slightest. Yeah. I'm sorry, my friend. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Did you hear about uh, your Buccaneers? I think we're fine. Yeah, I mean, they're winning games, but mm -hmm. did you hear what happened no, like, no, no. just recently? The Antonio Brown thing? Oh, uh, oh, geez. Yeah. Um, refresh. Oh, damn it, it was everywhere. I seen it. I haven't seen it today, and I, I just didn't even read it. Yeah, they just released him today. Oh, who they traded him to? Yeah. No, they didn't trade him. They released him. Oh. Oh, shoot. He's a free agent. Yep. Why'd they release him? Because of the stuff that went down last Sunday. I guess... I, what, what went down? I forgot. Well, it's all still fuzzy, and no one knows what the right answer is because both parties are saying different things. Mm -hmm. Antonio Brown's camp says one thing. The Buccaneers staff says another thing. But yeah. what it kind of revolves around is an injury that that uh antonio brown felt he was dealing with in the oh middle of that's that game. right they said they and said then that, they they yeah. injected him with something on the sideline and told him to get his butt back in there and he refused to and then they said well you're done with this team you know? yep that's what he, that's his story their yeah, story they're saying that they try to force him to play with an injury yep yeah so who knows what actually happened um i'm sure we'll find out eventually but yeah but he is no longer a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. That's right, so. I forgot. Yep, that's what it was. Forced him to play with the injury. Is what uh, the news articles were saying. Hmm. Is it true? Do I believe him? I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm not in Tampa It's hard. It's, hard. It's, a di it's a difficult situation. Because for me, it seems like Tampa Bay, if they were really like not in the wrong in any way, they would have released a statement immediately, cut him immediately, been done with it. But there was a lot of lag time in there, and they didn't say anything for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then they just released him. And then Antonio Brown said stuff right away, but it's also hard to believe him because he's been such a pain in everybody's butt in the league for the last, like, four or five years now. It's just like, mm -hmm. you can't really trust anything he says. He's so crazy right now. We don't believe you. We don't believe you. What do I need to do mm. here? I don't know what I think.
All right, all right. Car Carson's out. I found a tundra stone. You hear that? Nope. What'd you say? Carson's out. Since when? Apparently he got another, in or he had an injury. Well, he played last oh, week. Oh, that's it. Huh? That's it. Pencils down. Oh, timer's up. Timer's up. Okay. Save your progress. That's it. Progress has been saved. Yep. Hath been saved. If you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button down below. Because your support is so greatly appreciated. And if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe for more DJ Spenda. And as always, that's it. See you later.